Now we go to another super adventure of our super regulator. Do we have the super regulator? Can he fly across? I love this. There he is. There's Tim Geithner flying across to save the day. Um, why politics are taking over our economy and ruining our financial system, uh, you know, uh, is beyond me. Tim Geithner has a new plan for more oversight now. Joining me now is Yaren Brook. He's the president of the Ayn Rand Institute. Yaren, how are you? Good, good. Thanks for having me on, Glenn. So Ayn Rand, I think she's spinning around <laughs> like a lathe so fast that you could actually make chair rails on her. Um, this is unbelievable. They're now talking about being able to go into private industry and say, yeah. you look like a threat and shut you down. Absolutely. I mean, the way all this is worded, it basically is going to give the Federal Reserve, the FDIC, the Treasury, uh, all these powers to basically decide that you have systemic risk. Glenn, you are a systemic risk to the U.S. economy. We're going to shut you down. Nobody defines systemic risk. Nobody knows what systemic risk means. Nobody has proven that any of these institutions have systemic risk. But we're going to have a super regulator that can shut down any company right in the financial services and beyond because they fear they might be systemic risk. Okay, Yarn, and, and, and mean this sincerely, I've been talking about the economy since it was like at 13,000 and still going up. And I said, when it hit 14,000, I said, good God almighty people, get out of the stock market, it's coming crashing down. And um, uh, at that time, I heard it from the left, I heard it from the right, Republicans, Democrats, everybody saying, you you are hurting the economy by talking it down. Why couldn't they make that case? Oh, and they will. Why couldn't they make that case about me and shut me down? Well, exactly. I mean, we're seeing here an attack on you hurting the economy, coupled with a general atmosphere in the country where there's a general attack on free speech, and you combine the attack on free speech and you combine the attack on private property, which is really what this new regulatory regime and the old regulatory regime is when you combine those two you're in very dangerous water to the freedoms that exist in this country when we see freedom of speech go and and when we see freedom of property go what is america all about uh, at the end of the day nothing those are the kind of freedoms that this country was founded upon yeah. this is what this country is really about it's really uh, it, at that point it's only about giant global yeah. corporations and power in washington let me give you something well, from uh, Ob uh, from uh, president obama's uh, town hall uh, meeting listen to this when can we expect the jobs that have been outsourced to other countries to come back and be made available to the unemployed workers here in the United States? A lot of the outsourcing that uh, was referred to in the question really has to do with the fact that uh, our economy, uh, if it's dependent on low-wage, low-skill labor, it's very hard to hang on to those jobs. That's why it's so important to train our folks more effectively. And that's why it's so important for us to find new industries building solar panels or wind turbines or you know, the new biofuel that involve these higher value, higher skill, higher paying jobs. Ooh, okay, Yarn, um, help me out on this one. When, when are those jobs coming back from overseas? I, I don't know. I'm busy taxing those companies and driving, them, uh, you know, driving those jobs out. But, well, but we need to find notice, solar panel jobs. Those yeah, but jobs. notice the, the premise. The premise both in the question and in the answer. The premise is that government creates jobs. The premise is that government shifts right. jobs overseas and then brings them home. Right. Private enterprise creates jobs. Capitalism, free markets create jobs. And when you restrict freedoms, when you restrict capitalism, when you restrict markets, you destroy jobs. And that's what the Bush administration did for eight years. And that's what Obama is doing now. We're, we're taxing, regulating to death American industry, uh, American free markets, uh, American capitalism. And they're not going to be jobs anywhere. The jobs in China are being destroyed at a well, faster I mean, rate than they are here anybody because of our regulation. Anybody thinks that those great solar panel jobs are, <laughs> wow, i got millions of those waiting. Those great solar panel jobs are going to stay over here once we make the solar panels. Those are going to be made in China. That's the way the world works. It, this is ridiculous. All right. Yarn wrote uh, two articles for my magazine, Fusion. Um, and they are absolutely, I love this is issue. It's springtime for bailouts and germany um the, it's a, a comedy uh, and um and news magazine 
He wrote a couple of great articles in the May issue. You can read them. It's on sale now at glennbeck.com, or you can call and order Fusion Magazine, 888-GLENBECK. Very funny magazine, smart magazine as well. News and, uh, and humor. Fusion. See?